I'd spoken to the intensive care um, secretary probably about two weeks before we came in and um, she said sure come in with him so we did and I'd spoken to her and they just couldn't believe it was Dwayne when um, you know we came back they they saw me they recognized me but they didn't recognize Dwayne and they sort of said oh well it must be her other son and I said no this is Dwayne and one of the nurses is running around like with her chook like a chook with her head cut off <laughs> saying no way this is not him you know because it just it wasn't the same yeah she just couldn't believe the difference in him I do feel inspired because I didn't think Dwayne would walk again I would never saw him out of the bed he was I saw him four months I looked after him and it was just mainly rolling him and sliding him into a chair that's all I saw and then you know a year later to have him walk onto the ward and say hello Michelle how are you going I died of a heart attack I couldn't believe how tall he was I look like a midget next to him. It, it was really great to see him walk up to me and say, hi, how are you going? And it just gave me, you know, wow, like, yes, yeah, so I did this. You know, he, um, oh, it was just amazing. I've got injuries that always be with me. Like I've got metal plates in my spine that are in there for life and I've got screws across my pelvis that are in there for life and all that. So, you know, it will be different because I've always loved motorbike riding and I can't, really afford to get back on one, just in case I come off again, so. I've got um, short-term memory loss, like, and then, you know, someone will ask me something and I'll be like, and I'll be like, yeah, okay, no worries, I'll do it. And then five minutes later, I'll be like, what do you want me to do? Or someone will butt in when I'm talking to a friend, I'll say, no, nah, go on, you go talk to them. Then they'll ask me, what did you say? And I'm like, I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, I appreciate life more, you know, I take it, you know, for granted now, just look at things completely different. You know, beforehand, I'd be always out and about, you know, till five o'clock in the morning, just getting drunk somewhere. You know, nightclubs here, nightclubs there, and now I just can't be bothered, you know. It's worked out now, it's just a big waste of money. It's still early to find out whether um, he's going to have any sort of permanent injury as yet. But um, as long as he thinks that himself it's not going to be a setback for him. He's getting along with his life. He's getting on with life. He doesn't, he doesn't dwell on it. No, he gets on with his life.